So our family has been here for a hundred years or so. Um, I live here all summer long and guiding, fishing and hunting trips. I love it. It's, uh, it's, I feel like it's a part of me. Um, I feel like this little fishing village is, uh, has a very rich heritage of tradition and hanging on to the tradition. And um, my family is kind of part of that from the beginning. Uh, especially with the Grand Laker canoes. So um, I feel like it's what I was supposed to do. The canoes are, are Grand Laker canoes. They're essentially a square stern, 20 foot long um, canoe that, that all, most of us guides traditionally, uh, we fish out of all summer long. Um, they have a 10 to 15 horsepower um, outboard motor on the back so it motors us to the fishing spots and then we paddle them um, the canoes are designed to be able to paddle easily still and so we paddle all day while our clients are fishing and then we cook them the shore lunches and fish in the afternoon and uh, it was known as my great great grandfather built the first Grand Laker back in the mid 1920s he's credited as building the first in 1924 25-ish in that area and um, my family and I still have that original mold today and still build canoes off of it um, a little bit of history of like Grand Lake stream um, originally Grand Lake stream started out as a tannery town and then a lot of the employees at the tannery kind of noticed this is from what I've always heard in, in whatever but the the employees from the tannery kind of realized how good of a fishery it was in this area that once the tannery went out of business it the town just kind of automatically kind of morphed into a fishing village and that's how it still is today and and that's when the canoes came about and you know all the lodges you know started to form and stuff like that so it, it's it's a long line of, of tradition and history of being a fishing village and kind of how we're trying to still hold on to all of that and, and uh, share and show everybody how lovely and how it, 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 you kind of when you when you get into Grand Lake Stream you kind of step back in time and you it, everything really slows down slows down a lot um, from what a lot of the normal everyday things that you see now so it, it's it's pretty cool to see people be able to do that and experience all that. It's that's part of the fun of being a guide is is showing people our world and seeing their reactions to that. So one of the things that that I really enjoy about this group and the in Camp Kotok is that when the first couple of days that they're here they're they're so used to that fast-paced lifestyle and then by about day three they uh they really can almost take a breath and they almost feel like they can settle into to to the way the way things are around here and how how kind of set back in time it all is and how relaxed and you you almost you almost see their shoulders drop a little bit and how much more they're they're taking in all the scenery and the and the lifestyle of, of what we have here.